Today we're gonna to be talking about what the difference is between curses and spiritual warfare. I know sometimes we try to use those hand in hand, but there is a difference between having a curse um, and also uh, battling spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. They are two separate things and we wanna be able to yes. dive into those today, um, go over some scriptures and help you get a better understanding so you know what you're going through versus mm -hmm. what you may have operating in your life. Uh, first, we're gonna go ahead and open up in prayer. Father yes. God, we just thank, thank you, Lord, uh, for whoever is watching this video, Lord God, that, uh, you give them a revelation and an understanding um, of your word and what your word says and use us to uh, teach um, not just what we know, but uh, what you are saying, what the Holy Spirit is revealing and what your word says, Father God, so that uh, we know that we would not be ignorant of Satan's devices uh, lest he take advantage of us, as your word says. So uh, we pray that whoever's watching this video be receptive, uh, yes. that their ears are opened um, and inclined to hear what the Spirit of God is saying, and that they would know uh, after this um, and be able to walk in everything that you have for them and uh, getting curses removed from their Amen. life and also knowing how to battle uh, with your word in spiritual warfare. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 So this is one of the most, I believe, spiritual food that the body of Christ can ever have. Right. Um, I believe the Holy Spirit wants us to know this. Um, for ourselves and any and everybody out there that is seeking this so like what am I going through? Yeah. What is going on? Like there's havoc in your house, right? In right. family and marriages and and in your f relationship with your family, friends. Mm -hmm. You're like, what the heck is going on? And so we're gonna have some answers for you, you know, by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for using us today. Amen. I was asking Holy Spirit, I was like, Holy Spirit, you know, what is the difference between me going through warfare because I would go through it a lot or am I going through a curse? Is this generational? Is it, right. you know, there's so much out there. A lot of people are, are, uh, how can I say Christians is like, I'm not under a curse. I am. Yeah. Spirit saved. Right. Saved, sanctified, sanctified. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I shouldn't be under a curse. Fortunately, that is a lie from the pit of hell. So many people deal well, that, with it's a, it's a lie that the devil wants you to believe. Right. The devil right. wants you to believe that you don't have a curse mm -hmm. and you are saved, you're sanctified, you're set apart, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Right. And he wants uh, most Christians who run with that, you know, uh, mm -hmm. teaching that theology that I can't have a curse. You know, yeah. there's no way possible, you know, and, and Jesus died strange. on the cross and he, you know, um, hung on the tree for us and uh, he was the curse. And, you know, um, yeah. if, if the devil can get you to believe, you know, uh, certain things, yep. then you will be able, He's you'll be walking you. around defeated mm -hmm. thinking that there's no way, you know, because I can't have a curse. Right. Exactly. Pretty much spiritual warfare. Let's define that. What is that? Exactly right? It is the external attack of the enemy. What do you mean by that, Felicia? Well, let me give you an example. Spiritual warfare is an external attack of the enemy. Examples can be you are tempted to sin, you know, like things are coming, tempting you at night in your bedroom, coming at you in the middle of the night. I need to let out, right? right? It's tempting you to sin. Because what it is, the enemy wants you to either open that crack, open that, you know, bring down your wall a little bit yeah. or open the door a little bit so he can come in and tempt you and you sin, you fail. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty much tempting you to run to that sin, right? To that addiction. Okay. My mind is being attacked right now. Let me go drink some drink alcohol, let me yeah. alcohol right. let me go smoke some weed not no judgmental so, here i'm just giving you examples of how the enemy puts you in a cycle of warfare he tries to get you if i can just have them open that door a little bit so we have these outward attacks 
uh, from the enemy trying to penetrate you to mm-hmm. get you to break, to get you right. to buckle um, yep. so that you will give in to these temptations. Mm-hmm. And this is one of, you know, uh, the tactics of the enemy, you know, and this is where we engage in spiritual warfare, mm-hmm. you know, um, cause he wants you to fall, right? He wants us to fall. That is his main goal is he wants us to fall short of the glory. Yeah. And he wants us to continue in that warfare and it's it goes and it goes, okay, if I just take a little bit of this drink, it's going to be okay. Nothing's going right. to come. If I could just, you know, continue to do this, let me go ahead and I just need to relax my nerves. Mm-hmm. That's what people say. What most people say. A lot of people, let me just calm re- my nerves. Calm my nerves. Let me just, you know, and so we want to make sure that, you know, let me go let it out. Let me go masturbate. You know, let me go do this. Let me just watch this. You know, it's not going to, you know. Yeah. So it's it's stuff like that. He wants to tempt you so he can come in, right? Right. And so him him gaining access is what the Bible also says as giving the devil a foothold. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and once you have that open door in your life, he now has legal access. Legal access. Uh, to you know, basically he's all demonic uh, Mm -hmm. activity or demons are looking for a host, a body to use to act out their deeds. Yes. Um, And, you know, we want to make sure that our body is a temple of God, the temple of the Holy Spirit, so that the Holy Spirit can use us so that we are led to uh, be used by God. Mm -hmm. But the devil is fighting for that same ground. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's going to win and Mm -hmm. it's up to us. That's why the word of God says to put on the whole armor of God God. so that in that day you will stand against the wiles of the devil, against his schemes, his plots. His plots. Um, And so we want to make sure that we shut down every... um, uh, shut down every uh, temptation uh, Mm -hmm. in uh, in the onset. You know, as soon as it comes, nip it in the bud so we don't give the devil no playground here, not in in our minds. That's right. That's right. You're totally right. And can you read Proverbs 25 and 28? Proverbs 25 and 28 says, Like a city that is broken down and without walls, leaving it unprotected, is a man who has no Mm self-control over his spirit and sets himself up for trouble. Yeah, exactly. Right. What we just... So that's uh, a good example of Mm -hmm. um, you letting in Mm -hmm. the devil. Mm -hmm. Um because of your walls are down, meaning, you know, your, your, your faith is not up. You're, you're not spiritually guarding, watching mm-hmm. your eyes or watching what watching you're listening your eyes, to. what you're listening to. And because of that, you mm-hmm. now have no self-control over your spirit. Right. Meaning that's spiritual warfare attacking you because yeah. you don't have no control. Right. Exactly. You know, you can fall into anger. You can fall into frustration. Lord, why haven't you blessed me? Why haven't you did this for me? You know, you can become bitter. You can be hardened against God. Why haven't I been set free? Why haven't I, you know, why am I still going through this? Why am I still, you know, going through the sickness? Why did you let that infirmity spirit in? You know what I'm saying? There's so much, you know, why, you know, you're talking bad mouthing people. You know, you could be bad mouthing people, cussing, you know. So there's so much in temptation mm-hmm. that you can let in. You know, the enemy's just right here, just right here waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me. They just open that door a little bit. They open that crack. They let down, you know, they let me go in. And so what happens is that strife comes in. Everything breaks loose, the havoc. You're finding yourself being mad and upset. You're like, what yeah. just happened? You find yourself arguing with your husband. You're you're finding like just going off. It's because that spirit you let in. Yeah, that's true. Then you let that spirit in. And so that is warfare, pretty much. Temptations. We got to continue to to just guard. Yeah. Guard our heart. Guard and you minds. say that there are three kinds of warfare, right? Mm-hmm. And so you see warfare is, it's like a guerrilla warfare. Let me define it. It's an act of revolt or uprising, quality or state of being. This is the kind of warfare where the enemy sneaks in under, you know, like 
your covers like remember like sneaking in the night tormenting you you know just coming in and causes you to sin listening to your flesh pretty much mm -hmm. right right so that you can sin then there's psycho psy can you say that word psychological psychological warfare where it's in the mind he yeah. attacks the minds right. he attacks the emotions and your will then there's open battle warfare facing each other in open field cause, causing havoc over the territory mm -hmm. it can be in your area over a certain area like sacramento elk grove there's batterfields you know wars and so those are all warfare you know just general just wanted to give you a general idea of different types of warfare that we go through yeah um now i want to go into curses mm -hmm. okay so there's many curses there is i'm just gonna break down a little bit of them uh the known one but there are so many curses if you guys look up deuteronomy uh i believe it's 28 you can actually go over the curses um uh, read the curses um for yourself or you can even google Right. What are the curses in the Bible? There's so many curses, but I just want to give you a general aspect of what a curse is. A curse is the fruit of an unrepented or repetitive sin. That's what a curse is. And a lot of the times, curse a, a known curse can be a generational curse. Right. Right? Yeah. A generational curse can be, you know family sins passed down unrepented family sins right that's what it is exactly it's our father's sins our mother's sins that was unrepented that didn't you know say for instance they went to the witch doctor i have a story actually on that i'm not going to say any names but we had a session these two lovely beautiful sisters came in and they had their family went to a witch doctor and it was witchcraft, you know, um, so so much stuff was happening with them and uh, different types of things. But that was the main stronghold was the the um, witch doctor allowing them to come in. So because, you know, you can carry those generational curses generation to generation, you know, and not knowing what you're going through. Right. Yeah. And so they you know, we're experiencing bad dreams, going through things, you know, going through just really not sleeping at night, you know, going through. And so, you know, they renounce that curse because what it is, is you can, you have, to, fortunately, we own that curse now. A lot of people don't want to say that because they say, no, we're covered by the blood. But now that, that generational curse is yours now sexual abuse it could be infirmity spirit that sickness can go from you know i've seen people like in had cancer to cancer to cancer um in a wheelchair 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 um i've seen different you know it passed down there and a lot of people in the world would call that what they would call that oh that's just in the in the bloodline or or, or in the genes it, that's in the genes no yeah. that's a generational curse right you know, and you have to be able to recognize that and and stop it, you know, um, you know, like divorces. My mom got one. My grandma got one. My my uh, my mom and my stepfather got one. Um, so it's generational divorces, abuse in the family, you know, why, you know, abusing wives. Abusing and here, here's the thing, you know, and me and my wife were talking earlier um and this is how you know it's a curse is because it's not a blessing you right. know um, all of these things we're talking about you know the divorces the 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 uh i don't know uh, sexual abuse mm -hmm. you know alcoholism all of these things mm -hmm. you know they're a curse because they're not a blessing to to your mm -hmm. current life you know to what's going on you know mm -hmm. and so you know you have to be able to identify, okay, you know what? This stops with my family. You yeah. know, this stops in this generation. That's and right. we are not going to allow this to continue. But if you don't recognize it, you if you don't identify it, it identify you know, 
it's going to continue with you and then pass mm-hmm. down to, to your generation. And that's why you have to be mindful and you have to have, you know, the gift of discerning spirits mm-hmm. to know what's really going on. That's right. And, you know, fortunately, it's it's sad. A lot of us, you know, go through so, so much. And Jesus is telling us this is what's going on. Yeah. We just have to listen to the Holy Spirit. We just have to, you know, remain teachable. Yeah. Search it out. He says, search it out. Right. Search out. Search it out. You know, so that's what we did here. We wanted to search it out. I know there's a remedy of what we're going through. And I'm going to give you guys a basic, you know, step-by-step resolution for this after I go over a little bit more. And also, you know, poverty too. You could go through a generational poverty lack. Poverty mindset. Why don't I have a job? That's a curse. Why can't you keep a job? Why are you always going, having an addiction to having to go to the casino or having to, you know, it's a generational thing. So those things you need to be broken from you in Jesus name. And so we, we have to continually ask God to open our eyes, you know, open your eyes. Open our eyes, Lord. Don't be so super religious to where you're like, no, I don't have a curse. Nah, it's right. just it's just spiritual warfare. Nah, I don't have a curse. Don't be that one. You know, humble yourself. Come naked before the Lord. Yeah. Always have a humbling heart. Let that pride go. If you're a minister, if you're a pastor, if you're an apostle, let your guard down and just allow God to speak to your heart and say, Holy Spirit, I know you're real and you will reveal all things to me. If I am dealing with this, help me, you know, help me. Because here's the thing, and I'm going to speak on this. You don't want to contaminate others. Exactly. Hello, ministers, teachers intercessors right pastors apostles those that are in ministry you don't want to contaminate others as you lay hands that's leaven that's the, another thing why people are going through what they're going through yeah. it's called leaven and um read uh, ro- uh read um first timothy 5 and 22 honey first timothy 5 and 22 mm-hmm. it's called contamination You want to keep your heart pure before the Lord. And you don't want that, whatever you're dealing with, to go onto somebody else, right? 1 Timothy 5 and 22, do not hurry to lay hands on anyone, um, ordaining or approving uh, someone for ministry or uh, an office in the church or in reinstating expelled offenders. Um, and thereby share in the sins of others. Keep yourself free from sin. You know, so the word of God is saying, you know, uh, whether it be casting out demons, whether it be Mm -hmm. anointing someone, promoting someone, um, says don't be in a hurry for that. And we also know the word of God says don't be anxious for anything. Yeah. You know, so you definitely want to be mindful of that. And you're wondering why that fear came into you. You're wondering why you're thinking like that. It's because somebody had contaminated you. And so I have never had anybody just pray over me. I've, I've always, if I've ever had anybody uh, pray over me, we went for deliverance, to be deliverance ministers. Right. Um, and God showed me their fruits. It was a blessing because yeah. God knows our hearts. He always wants to protect us. And so, you know, we seen that apostle and pretty much (laughs) oil was coming down from his head to his beard and that's letting me know everything's okay right everything's okay that god will always show you their fruits yeah i've seen it with another person their purity um so god will always show you their fruits on that minister that teacher you know there's a lot of there is some deliverance people and those that pray for people i notice they don't lay their hands on people they pray uh, pray from like just from like a distance, from yeah. a distance. I've noticed that, and it's because it's in the word. Yeah. You know, you don't want to 
have somebody, you know, dealing with something that they're not aware of and lay their hands on you, you know, and you're wondering why you're going through these spiritual warfare attacks. Yeah. You wonder why, what's going on? And you need to know anyway, it's 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 the word of God. It's it's the mm -hmm. power of Jesus and the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that's going to do the miracles and the works anyway. And it's okay, you know, to say, hey, let me pray before you pray over me. You know, I don't, you know, some people will be offended, unfortunately. Hey, but you want to protect yourself. Exactly. You want to protect yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to judge anybody. You don't have to be judgmental. You don't have to be, you know, offended in any kind of way. Ministers, teachers, as intercessors, don't be offended. They just want to know your heart. They just want to see what you carry. And Holy Spirit, if you're all, if you're anointed, Holy Spirit will show up like that. Yeah. And He He will always reveal. Remember that. Holy Spirit will always reveal. How can we overcome? Okay, I'm dealing with a curse, sister. I'm dealing with a spiritual, I'm dealing with spiritual warfare. Okay, what's the solution? Right? So what's the solution? Okay, well, I want you to get a list. And I just want you to, to make a practical list. Yeah. You're going to be praying, asking God, okay, what doors have I opened for the enemy to attack me spiritually? Okay, what personal sins have I opened the door? Okay, personally. Be detailed. Now, I want you to write this practical list if you're doing self-deliverance or if you're doing a session with somebody else. Okay? And if you trust this person to, you know, there's a lot of people doing deliverance and you trust them, and believe me, deliverance is free. Never go to somebody that is charging. Right. I want to let you know this. Never go to anyone that is charging for deliverance. It is free. Yeah. It's supposed to be free. Jesus did it. A lot of people out there that are really for the Lord, they don't charge for deliverance. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's number one. But if you're going to deliverance section with other, you know, with another person, be real with them. Be naked before them. That's just, just a spiritual thing. Let every, in details. And just be mindful, you know, um, when my wife says and other people are saying that, you know, don't, no one should be charging you for deliverance. Mm -hmm. You know, not charging you is, is one thing, you know, um, Mm -hmm. You know, everyone falls on that scripture, you know, uh, freely you have received, so mm -hmm. freely give. Um, mm -hmm. And that's understandable. But at the same time, if it's, it's also OK to bless the man and woman of God, if, yeah. they, if they've spent hours with you, oh, yeah. you know, if they've spent an hour, two, three hours with you and mm -hmm. you know that you were delivered and God set you free. If I'm not God saying puts it on your I'm heart. not saying before you leave, mm -hmm. you have to bless them. No. But if you have it and God puts it on your heart, mm -hmm. it probably wouldn't be a, a, a bad idea to show some type of you know um mm -hmm. love and and a, and a gift to them mm -hmm. but you know you should never go to someone knowing or thinking that you have to pay for anything yeah. i just wanted to say that um only because a lot of uh, ministers pastors teachers apostles are doing ministry full time and mm -hmm. though they love to see everyone set free, yeah. you have to keep in mind that they're spending time with you. Yeah, they're they're that's true. they're devoting hours with mm -hmm. you. And so even if it's just a, a cup of coffee or you yeah. know just just Gift show that, show your appreciation yeah. is, is what most show. people are trying to say. Um, you know, Honor them. Yeah, rather than just leave. You yeah, know, that's just kind of wanted to throw that in there, but yeah. it, it's never a charge because ultimately we want to see people set free. Yeah, yes, thank you. That's really good. I, you know, because sometimes you just want to feel appreciated by by your sister or brother. You know, like you just want to show you know show some love. It's kind of like <laughs> a delivery driver coming. 15 miles to deliver your food and then you just all right thank you and take your food you know sometimes it'd be nice if you could tip them but it's not re it's not required <laughs> it's not required but we don't want to just yeah. yeah praise god for that <laughs> amen. amen 
but yeah, so practical list, just definitely write down, share, you know, write down in details because that's how you'll be set free. Go from the beginning, the very beginning where it started. Yeah. That is the main, if you don't remember anything, start from the beginning. Allow Holy Spirit to take you to the beginning ever since you were in the womb. And allow Holy Spirit to show you. Yeah. And it could be a spirit of want, you know, from the womb or feeling abandoned, rejection. Yeah. Could be any of that. So go from the beginning of what that spirit could be, um, personal sins as well as, you know, what what things um, could be, you know, those curses, you mm -hmm. know, from the womb. Um, so thought I'd just throw that out there notice recognize the patterns the habits you know recognize that yeah write it down and so that's that's just what i have as a practical list write down even those that have touched you and they were unclean like an a, apostle you know that could have been going through their trauma or they you know having unrepented you know, curse that they were dealing with or warfare mm -hmm. that they were dealing with that they may have opened doors, but they hadn't remember or repented and they laid hands on you, you know, soul ties. It could be soul ties, you know, to that person too. You know, you have to detach yourself, exactly. right? Detach yourself. We've had, we had a person like that and we had to pray and detach that Jezebel, you know, that yeah. prayed over us. We had to pray that it would leave us in Jesus name. We had to go through cleansing yeah um from that so remember you can write down who may have also uh, laid hands on you that was contaminated you know pray about that as well you know i'm not saying oh you know go point them out make them feel bad no no we're not saying that no do not do that <laughs> you know just love them pray pray for them and remember always walk in uh forgiving forgiveness right. no matter what this is the key is to really really have a always make sure that you forgive have a forgiving heart always yeah. forgive really deep down and say i say it out loud yeah and say i really lord jesus with all of my heart i forgive my stepdad I forgive my mom. Right. I forgive my brother. I forgive my sister. Really forgive them. So you can be set free. It's yeah. for you right. to be set free. Not for them. For you. Yeah. So you can be set free and delivered. Right? Amen. Really wanted to read this. Because um, this, this prayer sums it up. What Jesus left us before he left. Um, and it says, Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, mm -hmm. your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. Um, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Forgive. Because even when Jesus went on the cross, what did he say? Forgive them for they do not know what they do. Forgive them. Yeah. If Jesus could forgive them yeah. what they did so bad to him. He, they did so much, so much hatred towards him. Right. But he still forgave. If Jesus forgave them, we can also forgive those that hurt us mm -hmm. really bad. I'm talking really bad. They really hurt us down deep, but we forgive them. You know, just like she's saying, there's some people in your life that have really messed you up. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take everything inside of you mm -hmm. and letting go and telling God, you know what, God, I surrender. I give up. I forgive them for what they have done to me. And I give this to you, Lord God.
-hmm. Open up your heart. Let your walls down. Let God do spiritual surgery on your heart. Ask God to create in you a clean heart and to renew in you a right spirit because you know what? You need to move forward. You have a life uh, and that God is waiting to, to do something with, yes. but you need to let go of the past. And right now you have to let go because your destiny depends on it. Yes. Amen. 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 And renounce those things. Yeah. Make a list of things that you can renounce. Renounce generational curses, poverty, everything that is generational, that is repeated. You notice it is a cycle, a cycle. Repent, turn, repent of the behalf of your mother. Yeah. Repent of your father. Repent of generationals Man. back to back to 20, just say 20 generations. I repent. Yeah. In Jesus' name of those curses, be broken off my life and it will be broken and not happen to my children's, 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 children's life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And by the blood, everything is under the blood. When you're saying this, under the blood. Yeah. The blood of Jesus Christ. All the spiritual warfare we give to him, the temptations. When I am weak, you are strong in me, Lord. I will pass the test. I will not let my guard down. I will not let my wall crack or fall down, or I will not open the door to the enemy no more. I want to live for Jesus. I want to live to a full, full, pure heart and mind. Right. If that's you today, and you want to come back to the Lord and you've been carnal, satisfying your flesh all the time and you are tired of going in this cycle of warfare and cycle of curses. You say, Jesus, mm -hmm. I repent. And you can say those sins all out loud if you want. You can say all sins. I repent of all of my sins. I want you to come back in my heart yes. and live with me forever. Change my life for the good mm -hmm. and turn everything around. And he can do it for you. Yes, he can. You let him carry your burdens. You let him carry your sins because it's not meant for you to carry those sins. Yeah. It's meant for him because he carried those sins to the cross. He carried your, your lust. He carried your adultery. He carried your addictions. He carried your whatever you're carrying, those sins. He carried all of them. Mm -hmm. Bad mouthing, talking bad about people, gossiping, lying, anger, bitterness. He carried all of that. Depression, anxiety, fear. We walk in so much fear. We need to stop walking in fear and telling that devil to shut up. Yeah. Get behind me, Satan. You have no place, no authority here. Fear is not of God. He says, fear not. How many times does he say fear not? A lot. A lot, right, honey? So fear not. Be who you are supposed to be in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Raise up. God is raising up. A, he's raising us up to be set free and clean and walking in righteousness and pure unto him. Instead of walking in our flesh all the time in carnal, he is getting us to walking in the spirit with him at all times. Mm -hmm. You will start hearing him more. You will start having visions. You will start having dreams. And you'll start having an understanding why you're having these dreams. He's going to start speaking in you a word of knowledge to give others. He's going to start having you heal the sick. He's going to start having you deliver people. And this can only happen once you clean yourself. Yeah. From all unrighteousness. Yeah. Once you do that all and you're swept out clean, he's cleaned house. He has cleaned your house and he has cleaned his temple. He is all everything's out. Now it's time for 
you to raise up where God wants you to be and help others. Amen. What you went through, what I went through, what my husband went through, this is why we have the love for God's children because he loves us first. Mm -hmm. And because he loved us so much, we have him in our heart and we love God's children so much as well. So it's time, people. It is time to rise up. Amen. It is time to get out of your flesh. It is time to get out of your carnal mind. It is time to crucify it and give it all to Jesus. Amen. Give him your sins. Give him your warfare. Give him your curses by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus name. It is time to rise up, people. Amen. Amen. So today, if you're uh, feeling that that's you, uh, whether you feel like, you know what, I feel like I may have a curse mm -hmm. or I am battling spiritual warfare and, you know, I don't exactly know what's going on. We encourage you to reach out to us on Facebook mm -hmm. under Moving Forward in Life Ministries. Mm -hmm. Send us an inbox. Um, or you can also at moving forward deliverance at gmail.com, um, send us an email and we would love to pray for you. Uh, if you feel like you are in need of a deliverance session, we would love to, uh, yes. be a part of that as well and, and Amen. allow God to use us to help deliver you and set you free. Amen. Comment below and let us know if any of this teaching, um, or, uh, revelation that God has been given has opened up, uh, some things that you may feel like, okay, yeah, you know what? That makes sense because this is what I've been dealing with. This is what I've been going through. My mm -hmm. mom had this. My dad had this. And it just seems like it's been going down what the world mm -hmm. says in the bloodline or it's in the yeah. genes. Um, and so let us know. We would love to mm -hmm. uh, uh, communicate with you and see how we can you know, help uh, better assist you. And anything else related to something that you would like us to teach on. Yes. All right. We're going to go ahead and close out in prayer and we pray that you uh, pray that you guys are blessed Amen. today in Jesus name. Father God, we just thank we you, thank Lord you, God. Father. Let whoever's watching this video be blessed and encouraged. Yes. Let them see, Lord God, what you are trying to do yes. uh, in them, Lord. Let yes. them see, Lord God, how you want to clean them and how you want to uh, have them be set free so that they can walk in the fullness of everything that you have for them. Show them, Lord God, the things that you want them to stop doing, the doors that you want them to close, uh, the surrendering that you want them uh, to do and uh, for uh, it to take place in their their life that they would totally surrender to you um, and how they can uh, shut down the enemy and put him on notice how they can speak uh, the word of God over the enemy and tell the devil that he is defeated so that they can tell the devil that it is written yes. I thank you father God Amen. for using us Lord God uh, to speak into their lives yes. Lord let their life never be the same today in Jesus name we pray Jesus. Amen Amen Blessed. Be blessed.